Welcome back everyone to our channel. So today, we are diving deep into a headline that absolutely rocked the tech world. A new chip out of China that claims to be 1,000 times faster than the best GPU from NVIDIA. I mean, this story has everything. Huge numbers, wild technology, and some serious geopolitical chess moves. So, let's dive right in. Yeah, this story just blew up everywhere. It all centers around a chip developed by a group called the Chip Hub for Integrated Photonics Explore, let's just call them Chip X, and a startup named Turing Quantum. And while well, you can see the headline for yourself, a claim like that is pretty much impossible to ignore. And we're not talking about a small, you know, 10% improvement here. Oh no, the claims were for a gigantic leap in computing power aimed squarely at the most demanding jobs on the planet. AI data centers, and massive supercomputers. And what really made people sit up and take notice was this. The chip actually won a pretty prestigious leading technology award at a major conference. So this wasn't just some random press release. This was something with an official seal of approval, and it forced the entire industry to pay very close attention. Yep, this is the number. 1,000 X, a thousand times the throughput of a top-of-the-line NVIDIA GPU. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. A number that big, if it's true, doesn't just mean a faster chip. It means rewriting the entire rulebook for AI. But you know how it is, right? Whenever you see a number that big, especially in tech, your skepticism meters should start twitching. And sure enough, as soon as the news dropped, the online tech community did what it does best. It started digging to see what was really going on. So the first place the investigation starts is as always, with the language. A lot of the headlines were calling it a photonic quantum chip. And for anybody who actually works in this field, that phrase, well, it immediately set off some pretty big red flags. The skepticism online was, let's just say strong. This one Reddit user, Matthew091100, just absolutely nailed it. On paper, everyone is better than NVIDIA. And that's so true, isn't it? It's one thing to have a great spec sheet, it's a completely different thing to actually perform in the real world. And this leads us to this really important idea called quantum washing. So what even is quantum washing? Well, it's pretty much just slapping the word quantum on something to make it sound incredibly futuristic and advanced, you know, to get the hype train rolling. But it's not just harmless marketing fluff. It actually creates a ton of confusion and misleads people about what the technology can really do. Okay, and this table right here cuts through all the noise. Let's be crystal clear. The chip that made all the headlines is not a quantum computer. It doesn't use qubits. It doesn't use entanglement. It's a classical photonic processor. Now, that is still an incredible piece of tech, but it's a fundamentally different thing. All right, so if we strip away the whole quantum hype, what are we actually left with? What's the real breakthrough? Well, the real story here is, in my opinion, even more interesting. It's all about mastering the use of light on a microchip. This is the key, a photonic integrated circuit, or PIC for short. The easiest way to picture it is like a normal electronic chip, but instead of pushing electrons through copper wires, you're steering photons, particles of light, through tiny little optical channels. And the benefits are massive, because light travels incredibly fast and generates way, way less heat. And this is where we get to the actual engineering miracle. What the teams at ChipX and Turing Quantum managed to do was cram over a thousand of these optical components onto a single chip, right next to all the necessary electronics. And this is the really big deal. They figured out how to make a programmable and mass produce it. That last part has been the holy grail in this field for years. So why does all this effort matter so much? Two words, energy efficiency. I mean, you've seen how massive AI models are getting. They are absolute power hogs. We're talking about a serious energy consumption problem for the whole industry. So a chip that is potentially 100 times more efficient? That isn't just a small improvement. That's a game changer. And this is where the story pivots. Because this isn't just about a cool piece of tech in a lab. Oh no. This breakthrough opens up a completely new front in the global battle for technological supremacy. This quote here from Chen Wenling really spells out the whole strategy. The goal is to change lanes and overtake. For years, the US-China chip war has been all about who can build the absolute smallest silicon transistors. But photonics, that's a completely different racetrack. So here's how this change lane strategy works. It's actually kind of brilliant. Step one, the blockade. The US stops China from getting the most advanced chip-making machines, right? Step two, the sidestep. 
Turns out these photonic chips don't need that super advanced equipment. They can be made with older tech that China already has. Which leads to step three, the overtake. By pivoting to photonics, they can potentially build world-class AI chips and just drive right around the sanctions. So let's zoom out for a second. What this all really signals is that the future of computing isn't just about one type of chip getting smaller and faster forever. No, the future is going to be a whole ecosystem of different specialized processors, each built for a specific job. And this chart kind of shows you what that future looks like. You've got your traditional silicon chips. They're the workhorses. They're not going anywhere. But now you have these other players entering the game. You've got analog coming back for efficiency. You've got photonics for pure speed. And then way, way out on the horizon, you have true quantum computing for problems we can't even solve today. It's all about using the right tool for the right job. So to wrap it all up, was that 1000x faster headline a bit of classic tech hype? Yeah, for sure. But the real story underneath it all is, frankly, far more significant. We're talking about a genuine engineering breakthrough in photonic computing and a really clever strategic move in the global chip race. It just goes to show you that sometimes the biggest leaps forward don't come from running faster down the same path, but from finding a new path entirely. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe Nexolith AI!